kid and then me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so Anna, so, well, tell me, tell me who you are. Well, uh, my name is Anna Hoynatska and I'm one of the founders of the 1% Club. And basically the 1% Club is uh, just a marketplace where uh, people um, can invest 1% of the time, their skills or the money, in order to make the world a better place. And our experience is that uh, the majority, the vast, vast majority of the people wants to contribute something to the world, but they're not comfortable with the you know, old-fashioned ways of doing things. Then you can just give some money to an agency and uh, you have no idea what happens with it. Uh, and once you offer an, a platform where people can actually see who they are helping with who they are cooperating, and then it gets, yeah, it gets much more easier, it's much more natural. Now you've done a lot of work to really try and understand how, how this can, it sounds great in principle, but the, the, the complexities yeah. of making this happen in an era of yeah. social media when people have lots of distractions. Yeah, definitely. And you've done a lot of work to sort of try and understand this. So give me a few examples of, of what, yeah. what needs to happen to make it work. Yeah, what really, really happens is to make it really easy for people. So, for example, we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, small enterprises from the developing world that are uh, using uh, us for their start capital. Yeah. And they also have really concrete questions. For example, we have uh, this one guy that uh, makes uh, bags, uh, you know, fashionable bags for yeah. women. And he needed to have uh, the, pet, uh, yeah, the, the designs for it. So we put it on Twitter. And actually, within one hour, we had five people that wanted to offer the designs. You know, the, the, uh, they were like students, from the fashion academy stuff like that they know what kind of stuff people will buy in the Netherlands in the Scandinavia stuff like that and they send the designs now it doesn't cost them a lot of trouble uh, it's, but they still help somebody so it's really like a easy way of helping somebody yeah. across the world and it's a thank to the use of yeah. uh, social media well I remember when Facebook first started taking off say in Europe you know there was lots of people associating themselves with causes yes and that's as far as it went you know uh, yeah. you've got to sign up to this thing about you know we should need to help babies in Africa and yes. everybody was like yes let's help babies in Africa yeah, yeah. but it, it came across very yeah, yeah, it came know. came across as very shallow very quickly yeah. I wondered what, where, what's it at now? What, what have, it yeah. must have evolved. People realise they need to do more than that. Do you think? Well, or? I think that's the added value of the One Percent Club. Uh, yeah, we are a club. So once you are joining us, you are belong to a community, and we offer different levels of engagement. You can be a, a coach. One of the we have like a, dozens of coaches that are guiding a project, and you are really involved with a project owner. You are really helping them with everything. Uh, it's like a, the golden level of being a One Percent member, and uh, we have. Uh, people that can just uh, give feedback on the project proposals we have uh, yeah, different roles so that's really helping and um, yeah it's really easy to adjust your level of involvement to the particular time in your life you know yeah in the month that you are moving you are not interested in <laughs> yeah. writing a business proposal with somebody across the world yeah so um well we, we've just been here over a cafe cobalt with with you guys this yeah, morning good place, yeah. talking <laughs> talking about how you know we can aqua one percent club yes. can work together um you've you've just um, been awarded um funds from the dutch government to the yes. mfs2 uh, tell yeah. me a little bit about that because we have as well and it's just really yeah. like <laughs> yeah, it's really definitely. exciting but what what what's what's your mfs2 consortium all about yeah, so the thing is, um, uh, the whole uh, sector, the development sector, is really under high criticism in the Netherlands. People find it uh, not effective, they, uh, there's a rising voice, it's a waste of money, and stuff, yeah. and stuff like that. And the thing we are in a, uh, ACFO, the 1% Club, the similar organization, on a perfect. Uh, so there's a, there's a man wheeling vegetables. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So we have the perfect momentum, we have the perfect concept to have an answer to that. Because yeah. we do make it visible, we make it transparent. Um, and, and, and in theory, we are the most effective uh, platforms to put your money and to put your time in. Yeah. So that's why uh, the, the existing organizations are really interested in it. The government is really interested in it. And uh, yeah, the end user is also really interested in it. Yeah. So what are you going to be focusing on? For the consortia, what what's the what's the output you're doing? Yeah, so we uh, we really need to grow because in order to to make our concept work, we really need the big crowd, which uh, which enhance all the qualities and all the resources we need for any specific problem. That's why uh, we really want to work together with Acvo. Uh, and the other reason why we want to work with clubs like Acvo is also because 
you know, we are making it up as we go, you know, there's no blueprints for the things we are doing and we really have to work together. And uh, that's also a thing that set us apart from the existing cooperation, I yeah. think, because we are really working together. Yeah. So it's good. Well, it's great to meet you and look yeah. forward to working with you. Yeah, vice Thanks. versa. <laughs> Thank you.